All right, so we're switching it up today, okay? Because just as much as I enjoy makeup, I enjoy fashion, okay? I enjoy clothes and shoes and bags and accessories. And lately, my black-owned brand handbag collection, mm, it's, it's lit, it's popping, and I'm like, I have to share with you guys. So if you were thinking about ordering from any designers or you're trying to get some new designers or something, you know, fresh your collection up, here's some things to think about. And these are the bags that I've been enjoying. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as I just mentioned, we're doing my black owned bag collection, okay? So I was just thinking, I was like, oh, it's getting lit. I kind of got a lot of black owned designer bags and I'm happy about it. And I was like, you know what? Let me just show it to you guys in a video. Now I've been wanting to do this for a while and then like my friend Yadi over at Yadi Beauty just kind of like, like girl, get on the ball. It inspired me because she put up a Teflar unboxing and her experience with ordering with Telfar. So I will link her video down below, but let me go ahead and introduce myself before I get distracted. You know how I do. So if you have never been here before, welcome. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. And today we're talking about my handbag collection. So let's go ahead and get started. So at the moment, I only have four black owned handbag designers. So um, is it four? Yeah, it's four, but I have quite a few bags. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? And I do have like a wish list of some other bags that I wanna pick up and I'll share that at the end. But let's start with the first brand. So the first brand up is actually Tote and Carry. So I have two bags from them and this is actually, they're the same bag, just two different colors. And it was just amazing. So as far as pricing and everything like that, I'm not gonna share the price or how much I pay for. I'll let you know, like if it was a deal or steal or whatever, you know, a little sale, discount for sure. But I'll link the websites where I purchased these bags from down below. And I just wanna tell about my experience and how I like the bag. And and ordering from these companies. So the first is, uh, bag that I have, and I got this around May, is from Tote and Carry. Look how stinking cute. Now this is like the caramel co color. So there is a strap and the strap is actually removable. So this bag is like a vegan leather bag, black owned brand, of course. They have luggage, they have book bags, they have men's bags, they have women's bags purses, all types of things. So I actually came up. So as you saw, I have two. Um, they had a buy one, get one sale. I was like, what? I have been wanting a bag from them and they have a buy one, get one sale. And then we also got one for my friend because she was getting married. So we we're like, oh, that would be a great thing. But my friend Nicole and I, she's not on YouTube or anything, but we were just like, girl, but we want both. So <laughs> I think we actually got the same color. So I opted for these two colors. Look how fun and exciting this color is. Now I'm holding Holding these little bags, you know, by um, the strap, so you can hold them like this, or as you can see, there is a strap. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. And you can definitely make it a crossbody. I love purses that are crossbody, so you can just go ahead and hook it. It has a nice gold chain at the end, very weighted, feels secure. And I would say that the leather, it, it, in the beginning, it felt a tiny bit stiff, but I don't feel like it was something that's over stiff. Also, what attracted me to this bag is I felt like this was something, you know, I could take on trips to, you know, uh, um, I, I went to Mexico and sometimes I'm not big, not sometimes, I'm not really big on carrying like my luxury handbags like my Louis Vuitton or anything like that to um, some of those countries because it just kind of gives you like, you know, people look and kind of makes you a little target. So like I said, you can just go ahead and add the strip aside. I felt like this was something really cute that would stand out. I could get a lot in it put it across my body, do whatever activities, something that can translate from day to night, and I can still get a considerable amount in it. So here you go. And usually like I'll carry a wallet or more of a condensed wallet. I always usually have like my glasses with me, my phone, um, 
lipstick, things like that nature. So I'm not one to overpack my purse sometimes, but I do like the option of getting things in my bag. Now I do like smaller bags. I like all different sizes of bags, but I feel like this is a lot of bang for your buck. Um, not to mention, it was just like in around a hundred something dollar mark, so not too expensive. And then I was able to get a free bag, so like, who doesn't love that? And like I said, they have so many different options even when it comes to this bag, so many different color choices. Like I said, they have luggage and it's just like, it's a whole vibe. Then it came with this dust bag and the boxing when it was shipped to me was fabulous, okay? So it was packed very nicely. Everything was wrapped gorgeous. There was a nice little note in there with the invoice. And the shipping was pretty immediate on the bag. So I didn't have any problem with that. So I would definitely uh, recommend um, purchasing a purse from Tote and Carry. I'm not sure what I want next at the moment from them, but I'm definitely on the lookout from different styles from them. But I feel like these two bags are so much fun in this color. Oh my gosh. Like it's to die for. Oh my God, if you love like fun neon colors, can't figure out where to get a bag from, this is it. Cause they had like hot pink, hot orange, <laughs> neon yellow, neon green, turquoise, blue. Then of course they had the black and yeah, so super great bag, nice and sturdy. And um, I'm not too hard on my person, so I would mention that. I have like one purse that I carry like all the time, but I'm not generally hard on my stuff, but I do feel like these bags are very durable. So next up in my collection would be this baby right here. I have a Brandon Blackwood bag, and he is out of New York. And like this man, I think Saks denied him, and his bags have been blowing up. I think now he is in sex which is actually quite funny and it's just like go him i actually asked for this purse for my brother um for christmas as you can see look at the box so i don't i think this bag came directly from his website because i just said usually when i'm asking for something from my brother i'm like this is what i want this is the color Sometimes it comes out correct, sometimes not. But you know, look at the, the attention to detail inside the box. I'm usually not one to keep the box, but I thought it would be nice. Um, and this is his trunk bag. So it comes with this nice duster as well. And this bag is beautiful. Now it's like a pony hair trunk. Ah, I haven't even carried it yet. But, oh my goodness, I am going to homecoming. I did go to FAMU, so I think I might take her down there for homecoming. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. Like I said, it's a trunk bag, so you can see how thick it is right here. And then on the bottom, you do have like the little, it's a cover on it right here, so this is actually just to protect it. But you have the little feet, so you're not messing up the bottom of the bag, which is especially important. This bag comes in different sizes, different colors, different shapes. His bags have gotten a lot of popularity also. I've seen the bags, like he has some other bags I've seen on um, Sex in the City. I also had a friend, she ordered a bag from them and they sent her the wrong color and they were like, well girl, you got two bags. <laughs> so that was dope, you know what I mean? Um, I like how his name is just right there. It um, has the heart lettering right there. Um, like I said, everything just came wrapped so nice. The, the strap right here also has the pony hair. And then right here at the top, you have your latch to open up the purse. So let's see. Now this part, okay, I'm just making it harder than it has to be. I can't open anything, okay? And you do, it does come with like some little silica gel packets, you know, just to help with any moisture. You do have a strap right here. I haven't even opened this up all the way. Look, and then this is basically what the purse looks like once it's expanded. You can get a few things in here, but obviously this is a smaller, maybe going out bag. Um, let's see, I have a, this is the 11, but I have the smaller size. So let's see, my phone can, it's a tight squeeze. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze. Now in a totem carry bag, my phone can't go in there. But I just think that this is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the silver hardware just kind of sets it off. Let's see. We got our strap. 
I'm all about that. Like, you know, when you're out and about at these functions and stuff, like, you know, definitely the strap comes in handy so you don't have to hold your bag, you know what I mean, in your arm. Like, I like to have my hands free. So here's the strap. Once again, we do have the pony hair on here. Such a beautiful, beautiful purse. And I want to say these are vegan as well. Um, are they? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so I stand corrected about Brandon Blackwood. So actually he has quite a few different options. If you go to his actual website, um, this bag is a pony hair bag. So of course they're going to recommend that you don't rub things consistently up against the bag. You know, you be careful with it so it doesn't wear away the pony hair. Um, you're going to actually avoid foreign contact and direct pressure on the fabric and then also they do have a vegan leather option if you're interested in that they have genuine leather suede leather and shearling nylon straw wicker mesh bags terry cloth snakeskin python rhinestone beaded bags and the rhinestone beaded bags does come in this format also and rex rabbit so crocodile antelope okay so if you you know you don't like things that companies that don't deal with um cruelty free products this might not be the brand for you but i feel like it is just a beautiful brand and the price points are pretty much affordable they're not too overly expensive so it makes it easy like if you want to find a bag and just have something to stand out in your collection like you can find something you know for everybody you know we can find something that you know to fit your budget so next up this brand it caught me by surprise and this was something i did not know about and I saw the Instagram and I went to the website. I was like, ooh. And this bag was out of stock, but then when it came back, I was like, mm hmm, I'm getting it. And I was actually able to catch it on the sale. And this brand is Luxury Essentials by Nathaniel Nior. Now, Nathaniel is out of Canada. Look at this bag. Are you kidding me? This is multi-chrome. For those who watch my eyeshadow videos, tell me this is not a multi-chrome eyeshadow. Look at this. This is stunning look at this ship look at it look at it look at it look at it oh it's so pretty and this is vegan leather also cruelty free i mean it's like it's great you got the little tag you can remove this now what i would say about what strike me the shipping was very fast and everything but what i did say that i don't think i like the most about this particular bag is that the strap it does feel a little bit more flimsy than the other ones but it's still nice you know but i did feel like the strap could have been a little bit more substantial, but I'm not mad at it. And maybe because of the type of leather, but this bag comes in different sizes, so many different colorways. So like if you want something understated or you just want to be bold and out there like me, it's fine. You also have some silica gel packets and this is what the inside looks like. You do also have, I like my other bags, you do have a pocket right here where you can kind of just like put, you know, some money or credit cards right here. I do find that you can get a good amount of things in this bag, but it you do have to kind of like warm it up. And once you kind of use it, it kind of just breaks in and you're able to get a few more things in it. But I feel like the design is so gorgeous. I've carried this bag twice. It has nice stitching around the sides so you know to keep it together but like I said this part for me was a little eh, it kind of cheapened the feel of the bag and it was just okay and then I don't know how I feel about the silver hardware I feel like the gold hardware would have just been like a whole vibe bag and then his name is imprinted very tiny right there so, but this bag is absolutely stunning. The shipping time was very fast yet again on this. Didn't have any problems. Got the bag within a week of ordering. Like I said, this brand is in Canada. It's a young man, Nathaniel Neor. He has so many different bags and he runs sales quite often. So you can find, you know, this bag on sale. But, you know, when it comes to like other bags that I'm not carrying all the time and like adding things to my collection, I want fun pops, some fun things that are gonna be like, oh that's different versus just kind of like the basics but it just depends on what you're looking for because I feel like sometimes I have all the basics covered you know but this was just too gorgeous to pass up like this is probably coming home coming with me too because my school colors are orange and green I mean 
look at it. <laughs> gorgeous you know all right last but not least and probably what you've been waiting for my Telfar bag collection and I have a couple more but this is all I can hold at the time okay so the Telfar bag okay the Telfar shopping bag okay and this is by the designer his first name is actually Telfar okay and he is from Queens New York honey and these bags have taken off Beyonce was spotted wearing one last year in um, Martha's Vineyard um, and like Everybody just had to have one. And so I have actually, uh, let's see, I have five Telfar bags, okay? And so let's talk about it first. So, you know, known as the Bushwick Birkin, okay? They come in different sizes. And I do have a, I have all the sizes, okay? And then I have one other one that's not a shopper. But we're gonna start with these two. So, well, actually these three. So this is the large. And then I have, you know, two small ones and the colors are insane, okay? These bags are so hard to get your hands on and these three bags that I show, these, these three, I actually did the bag security program, okay? So the bag security program was like, honey, you got to chill, you got to wait, you got to wait for God to bless you to get your bags because they drop bags all the time and according to his interview that he did on The Breakfast Club, like they just sell out so fast and they just can't keep it in stock and they have very much sufficient stock in the first place when these bags drop. I mean, your Wi-Fi gotta be strong. I mean, it's just got to be on point to catch a Telfar on a drop day, okay? So, although I feel like maybe it might be again a tiny bit easier now that they've been doing these uh, pre-order. So I think at this point, they have maybe just completed their fourth bag security program. So the bag security program is basically, you can go ahead and you can order any shopper bag you want. You can get any color, any size, and they have three sizes when it comes to the shopper bags. And the price points just kind of vary based on the size. Now, I do have two small ones. This is the painter's tape, and I want to say this one is the olive. And you see, I have a big one of the olive. Now, you order them, you pay for them, they, they offer Klarna, I want to say, and you just have to wait. They say like the delivery time will be two to three months, but they will alert you and they kind of put something out on Instagram and say, well, you know, we're ahead of schedule, but they do not want you to email them. They do not want you to be calling them, talking about when your bags are coming, you are too chill. And they put that on the website, okay? So you order it with the intention of knowing like, not gonna get it. I ordered these bags in October. I didn't get mine until March. It was right on Target. My friend did the same thing. She actually got her bags in January. So that was like two months ahead of schedule. My mother ordered hers. I think she got hers a month after. So everything panned out the way it was supposed to, but they'll notify you and ship your order out. And once they ship it out, it's so fast. Now the way they do these bags, like they, when they arrive at your house, especially with these being big shopper bags, like it's a flat box, everything has a plastic covering and then <clears throat> it actually comes with these beautiful duster bags and everything is just packaged so nicely. I was so impressed. Did not have an issue. I also had a cousin, I also have a cousin who ordered the Telfar East Pack bag collaboration, a book bag, and hers broke and they were like, send it back, no problem. We're gonna send you another one. They didn't question her, they didn't hassle her, so I feel like their customer service is really great. So, <clears throat> as you can see, I have two, um, small ones so this is the size I haven't carried them a whole lot but I definitely these are vegan leather so I definitely feel like you know you can get a good amount of stuff in here but you can't get a lot in here I mean it's just it is what it is okay and this is what the inside of the bag looks like now you know there's a little secret pocket in here in the tag if you want to put some stuff and they actually say that on the um you know, on their what's the name site, you do have a tag that's also on the inside that says Telfar right here. Definitely crossbody, or you can definitely just drape it on your shoulder. I definitely feel like, you know, the first time I wore it, I was like, ugh, it's not a lot. I can get in here. But the second time I wore it, once the leather just started giving, I started breaking it in, I was definitely able to get more things in it. So, as you can see, 
I got these from the bag security. Now, this bad boy, this is the large. This is the largest size. <laughs> Clearly, it's bigger than me. Um, I just carry this traveling. Like, it's too big for me in my everyday life. <laughs> and I would say one regret with this bag is that um, as far as it being so large, the strap so long, I'm short. So the bag kind of just sits very low and then it's just like if it's full there's a lot going on so i made a conscious effort like just don't weigh it down i can get the whole world in it like i think it, it's definitely giving never full by louis vuitton i run for the money because baby this ain't never full so i love the color so i've carried this bag quite a few times because i have done quite a, a bit of summer traveling but love it Then I have the medium shopper. Now this one I got the week of my birthday in May and I was surprised that I got it and my friend Yadi was like, I'm getting it. The gray is dropping. So when they have an actual drop, they'll email you or put it on their Instagram site. If you sign up for their emails, you get an email. You'll know like a couple of days prior to what time the color is going to drop as far as the restock, you know, on the colors and baby just be on the website if you plan on getting one just be on the website don't be messing around so i was like oh my god it's dropping i forgot and i was like oh i didn't have a medium one at the time and that was my first time carrying a large one and i was just like i cannot do this i i want a medium one you know so um i'm also like i don't want too many bags of the same thing you know so i'm like at this point when it comes to this unless it's some color that just shocks it all me i'm probably pretty much done with the shopper <clears throat> and like I said I don't want all my stuff to look the same so but the shopper the, the medium shopper does have a zipper compartment as you can see oh and the large shopper does too and then of course you just have your one compartment you have a nice um, it does have a magnetic closure and this one is a lot easier so I can throw my computer in it I can just throw a few things in there and not have any issue um, I did just get some lipstick on the strap and it wiped away <laughs> very easily so I do like the colors that I got I felt like I got some nice colors because you know it's not too much you're gonna really have like a gray bag now my other bag by them I love this bag so you know they did the restock of the gray and then they were like these are coming back out and I was like oh my god like I just bought the gray now this is coming out but I was like heck it's my birthday I'm just gonna go for the go because I wanted this when he showed this bag on the d breakfast club I was like I want one and this is the duffel bag okay love the duffel bag so this strap right here is actually removable and then you can just carry the bag like this. You have these two main straps and on each side you have a zipper compartment and it has the T's for in the logo on here. The little zippers have the logo. Now this bag was a little bit more expensive compared to the shoppers but they have three different sizes of this. So they have the small, medium, and large. I got the small works great as like a crossbody little bag i took this to mexico with me also i went to mexico like twice i went to mexico twice this summer and i went a couple other places but because so you have nice zipper compartment i've carried this bag quite a bit love it you can have the same one on the other side usually i'll just put like my wallet and credit cards and things in this side and then you have a nice ample middle compartment and it has the zipper right here and then you just can go ahead and you can get quite a bit of stuff in the middle part. So, you know, it's small, but it's not too small, but this is probably my favorite Telfar bag that I have. Um, I mean, the colors are just impeccable. I, I want the circle bag. So that's the bag I am like eyeing for. They did release the circle bag again this summer, but it was white. And that bag was around four or $500 because even though it's vegan leather, they just, because of the structure of the bag, and that's fine. Um, but I couldn't personally see myself paying $500 for a white bag because when they release things, they release the colors. Like, okay, so the black, 
the brown. And I don't even know what color I want in that circle bag. I would be happy with even a funk pop. But white is like, it's white, you're gonna get it dirty, you have to be careful about it. You know, so it's like you got to be careful and then I live in Chicago So white is only gonna take me so far, but I Really want a circle bag and I have just been loving the tell far series. So mm. Yeah, so all of these bags. I love so much now. I do have a few bags that I want. Oh my gosh I want a silver and Riley. Let me just like kind of scooch over so I can throw a couple pictures up I have my eyes on a silver and Riley bag like Do you see these bags? they I mean, they look gorgeous. <laughs> it's luxe. I, the, one of the bags could actually convert to a book bag and I think that's so dope. I'm like, I don't know if I want black. I don't know if I want the maroon one. I don't know if I want the olive one. I like, I like all three. And they also have some bucket bags kind of so it's similar to the tote and carry bags I show. Then I'm also want a bag from the Protect Black Women brand. I want a bag from them. Like I, I love that brand. It's so dope. It's just like edgy, but it has a powerful statement on there. So there is a mustard version. So I think I'm gonna cop the mustard because like I said, all kind of, I just want different things, you know what I mean? And then there's one other, so this other brand that I'm interested in, I'm really heavy interested in, is Tosha. And they actually have this houndstooth bag and I'm like, oh, oh, I need the houndstooth bag. So I saw that the other night. I think all of the bags are really gorgeous by Tosha. But that houndstooth bag, I'm like, is it coming back in stock? Because I need that. That is dope. So, I mean, they have quite a few different types of, you know, styles, colorways also. So, those are the three that are on my radar now. So, hopefully I can pick up like one or two before the end of the year. As like maybe a Christmas present to myself. But, um... Yeah, so I hope this was fun and I hope you enjoyed it. It was definitely different from my channel, but I love fashion and everything and I don't really get the chance to show it or I haven't showcased it on my channel. Um, like I said, I do have a luxury bag collection. I don't know if I feel like showing it just yet. We'll see. Maybe I'll show a couple items if you guys request. I know somebody asked to do my accessories, so maybe I'll take on that task. Also, that's, that's a lot. But <laughs> I, I do also want to keep some things private for myself that, you know, it's just a little something for me. You know what I mean? So um, let me know down below. Are you interested in any of these brands? Have any of these brands caught your attention? I feel like by far the most popular brand for sure is definitely been the Telfar bags. Like he, honey, has broke it. And, you know, Beyonce keeps plugging him with the, you know, these Telfars imported, the Birkins in storage. <laughs> So, hey, I mean, you can't accumulate wealth. Well, regular people, I'm regular. I can't afford no Birkin. I'm like, child, goodbye. <laughs> but I can afford this Bushwick Birkin by Telfar, okay? So, I'm good with that. Um, so, leave me a comment down below. Have any of these brands caught your eye? What do you guys think? think did you enjoy this type of video from me give this video a big old thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when i come out with another video which will be soon and subscribe to my channel because i would love to have you here in my little family and with all of that being said you already know how we got to end the videos around here we got to hit it with the chair dance chair dance hey 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 chair dance All right, y'all. Bye.